So it's about 10 minutes before you listen. Just a few links that you could uh, pick out yourself to see how things go together. <clears throat> so, for example, the police force could link to many different things, including the French Revolution. Uh, because greater fear in society amongst those people in charge meant that they were more willing to pay the taxes required to pay for a police force to stop the sort of thing happening that happened in France. Uh, the development of towns links to that as well, of course, because um, local communities which were traditionally doing a lot of it in the villages, but also in the towns you had the town watchmen and the sergeants, there just weren't enough to deal with law and order in the towns. So it became very important to have a police force. It's no coincidence that the first police force was in London. Um, the harsh punishment of the tall puddle martyrs could go around the French Revolution, as could the bloody code ending, surprisingly, um, because of course the, when people were being executed, big crowds came out to watch. You don't want big crowds of poor people. What if, what if they disagreed with the, the fact that one of one of the people being executed was being executed? Maybe they could all start a riot, and that could kickstart anything. And there's just some to think about. What the harsh. The harsh punishment of the gunpowder plotters and the rise and fall in accusations of witchcraft. You know, they go together because... They go to with the government, whoever rules. Because, of course, James I was head of a government full of Protestants who wanted James to be more strict with Catholics. So they encouraged the harsh punishment of the gunpowder plotters. And at the, the 17th century, 1600s, when all the witchcraft was going on, was a time of strong belie religious beliefs... And James I, well, he wrote demonology, didn't he? Uh, he influenced, His son took over afterwards when the Witchfinder General was going on. His son, Charles I, was uh, head of the government. He's going to be influenced if his dad's writing books saying about the problem of witches. So if the people in charge believe in these things, think they should happen, they're, they're going to happen. You know, there's plenty more besides uh, what we talked about last lesson. Attitudes in society links to smuggling. It was a social crime. People thought it was all right, even people in charge. Attitudes in society, links to poaching. You know, people thought, hey, what's, who's going who's gonna to mind if one rabbit goes missing? Um, attitudes in society, links to the bloody code ending. Because people thought, linking to your, your essays you've just done, people thought that it was too harsh to execute people for small crimes. Attitudes had changed. Um, and also, it was quite clearly changing because what was happening is juries were failing to convict. So criminals were actually getting away with crimes. So... It meant the bloody code had to end and things had to change. The perceived problem of vagabonds. Um, because it links to attitudes in society. Because uh, vagabonds were a big problem when the economy was on a downturn because of a bad harvest. When there was a bad harvest, less wealth in the country, less jobs to go around. So more people went, well I can't find a job here, I'm off to find someone, some, somewhere else. And matter of fact, not found a job, ended up begging, maybe ended up stealing... Vagabonds became a big problem because the attitudes in society was, was, well, I ain't got a job. Who's this person come from another town wandering around here like a vagabond? We need to punish him. Um, what else? There's loads. There's so many. So this, is, this is the last one I'll go through. Um, the church. That should be easy. Rise and fall in witchcraft. You know, we've already said that. That's to do with the government. It's six-sided as a hexagon for a reason. The increased numbers of executions for heresy linked to the church. Also linked to witchcraft, um, because they're being executed for worshipping the devil, which is heresy, going against the church. The next verse links with the church court sanctuary and benefit of the clergy, because, well, that's what you got if you could read the next verse, and both link to the church. So there's some ideas that you could put in. Yeah, there we go. Ask me, hopefully, in class.